it's changing the scale, but uh, introduces it to this match here, all the way. We are getting into it. Ask and ye shall receive. I wanted to see the the newcomer Rhythm in action. We're getting exactly that. They're on the Shaheen going up against Joe Crush, the absolute animal. Shaheen, we saw them earlier on. I think they are an extremely underrated character. Oh, wow. In the hands of a player we haven't really seen before, this could be quite the puzzle to solve for Joe Crush. Yeah, I can imagine it's been uh, fairly difficult for Joe Crush. But at the same time, you know, man's pretty educated on a lot of matchups. May not be easy for him, but he can uh, definitely have the knowledge going into it. Yeah, why is he dressed up like he's playing shuffleboard on his boat right now? <laughs> <laughs> he yeah, fits nothing. in! Let's go, Riddle! <laughs> You've done interrupted my game of shuffleboard. He's <laughs> <laughs> out here in the Riviera enjoying life and then a robot shows up. <laughs> oh, Jack would just show up how this guy went. Oh, wow. Oh, nice. Dash pressure is on. Rage Art is available. I don't need it yet. Joe Crush says it's the low carry. The wake up kick option keeps him back. Joe Crush. No stranger to finding their moment. He's got Rage. He's got Rage. Oh, but can't utilize it there. Does it get the combo at the wall, but pokes at his shins. But that low poke, such a good punch. Joe Chris said, if nobody's got me, Paragon and this low punch got me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, it's such a good round ender. And I believe the meta was minus eight. Uh, so overall, a very safe strength to throw out. Oh, the chest though. You don't get it, man. Joe Crush. Putting rhythm in a corner. Oh, you might get at it. Oh, try to be a little cheat. Yes, yeah, you out here, Jeff. Yeah, I didn't put the. Uh, I don't think he got the clean hit because uh, it was a little off axis. Fair enough for him there. It seems like rhythm's gonna get a nice combo, bring it back with this round. Oh. I feel like that was a combo drop. Plenty of gray health on both yeah. sides. He active. He dash comes out. Rhythm trying to find the opening. In these moments toward the end of the round, I don't know if you want to let Drill Crush just kind of angle around and find an opening, because they will. Rage Art is here. I don't know how I feel about the Rage Art. Obviously, good play, you're going to do a good bad damage. But it doesn't kill, right? It doesn't kill, and you've got eight seconds. You're frozen in time. Okay, never mind, he's got it. Um, I think in that situation, <laughs> I would have probably try to go for a really long combo with like a lot of animations, and then try to play the keep away. Um, but that's just me. That's just me. And out here in America? <laughs> fair, fair, honestly. You gotta get NA, him, by the way. Oh, the wrong time to jump. Let him roll snake eyes on that one. Joe Crush gets the party started against the wall, and the missed throw is gonna cost you. Nice, gets the OPG. Goes in with a speed, he gets challenged by the double vest. Jesus, Joe Crush. They put laces on Jack's boots. That Why? <laughs> the detail. <laughs> He's wait, laced wait. up. Seriously? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I got Fair his enough. Z. Fair I got enough. His I got his Z. Where the boots at? Okay. Round Check these ASICs. Look at them. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my god. I just my like Air Force straight. One's out here. Joe Crush up the game in the winner semifinals. I, I also just realized it was one street. Eleven, one strong. That's all from this tournament. <laughs> Not accustomed to dropping games. Out all right, guard break. One of those things that you just oh again. One of those things you're not going to see very often, just because you don't see Shaheen very often. So of course, you're going to have to worry about that one. Round two. Fight. So far. Joe has been like kind of running it, but like Redlam, I think taking the first turn here, maybe we'll just set the pace. I think those two guard breaks alone are giving Joe a bit of pause. He's like, all right, hang on. I don't run into Shaheen every day. Let me let me try to figure this out. Yeah, honestly, Shaheen doesn't strike me as a character of a guard break. <laughs> you wouldn't think? Okay. First, good combo. Two rounds straight. Rhythm answering back. Okay. Blocked, pokes away the shins. Nice time for one checks and went for the debugger, but unfortunately, he's gonna get blocked and punished. Rhythm here, again, a decent combo at the wall. Good defense there. Nice, for the smash, set the pressure, good duck. 
<laughs> Go crush opponent in the corner. Name a better combo. Oh, if I can try to catch him from the PG style, but if I can do that stuff, he gets clutch. Plus frames, the shens, and you're dead. Oh, then catch him getting up. Joe is not concerned at all about the rage art there. I feel like there were a couple moments where Rhythm's gonna find a moment of their own until the low punch. Whale well right there. Well right. Those, gone there, those, right. those last hit scenarios, Joe Fresh is absolute beast. <laughs> <laughs> ah, he's, he's pretty nasty, man. Ooh, look Conversion at the wall. Well served to step away so they're not back. They're not pressed back against the wall themselves. So Joe Fresh, he dashing out. Oh, a huge throw break. That would have been a momentum shift for sure. Uh, on the plus side, when Jack goes into that stance, he only has the one throw. So if you see a throw on him, you can just press one plus two. And I think this is Joe Crush's round. Up one more pull, but don't count right them out. Final round. Set point here. The, the key to taking a round off of Joe Crush is get a, get a pretty big life lead and opening. And be ready for the report because he's gonna get a launcher, he's gonna get an opening. But if he runs away with it at the beginning, you're gonna have quite the problem here. Yeah. Nasty. Oh, it tried. Flex. Rhythm. I understand. <laughs> he, he, he put the chest into, and I gave him the win. Holy. Oh, no. Flex on him. I didn't know that track. I was like, oh, okay, this is a good punish scenario for Rhythm. And then, you know, man just all turns around like, nah. <laughs> wow. What an interrupt. Joe Crush, 2-0 victory. Not the first time we... Obviously a clean Lars from what we've got to see. And Super Mario, uh, also a pretty cool <laughs> character in this game. Luigi! What? No! Conflict. My man lab he lapped the matchup. He knew Play what some to Mario do. Kart music. What is going on, Smash Bros? <laughs> I'm honestly shocked. I wasn't. I wasn't the ready. The lore match that. we weren't expecting. <laughs> and Panda, you know what's really messed up? Yeah. Lars is taller than P. Ling. Like this is actually oh my god. Mario. <laughs> oh my god. That's. That's really funny. I've never seen Luigi throw hands so violently as well. Where's his, where's his vacuum at? Oh, big sweep here. And goes immediately into the rage arc because of the wall there. But it gave you an awkward combo, so that's a smart play. Wow, yeah, we're having Mario Party. <laughs> oh my god. It's like... Like... Like when it comes to like Mario Party, in this case it's like when Link Xiaoyu does our, our sidestep, you get three seconds to hold down back. <laughs> oh, nice. Now what? Oh, nice. nice. Couldn't get the opening they were looking for there. I'm sure. Conflict Keep first. Putting pressure on Kiwi. Nice sidestep. Oh, oh no. Hit. He's Lars gone. is one of these characters where you can just literally mash your way. Like, if someone sidesteps you, you can just keep on going. Wait, wait, wait. This adds to it more. Doesn't Luigi have really good movement in Smash? Nah, no. Not no? Really. Oh, what, what about He can Manly jump. Manny? He can jump. He jumped pretty high. Then he Lars Manny jumps. Manny. Okay, you know how to that's right. Dude, the, the rabbit hole. Truth to Mario? Yeah. Oh my god. Good focus. Rushes in with the offense, catches with the sweep, and backs out. But a wall move into the clean hit. Nasty stuff there. Clean. <laughs> Things are very even overall in the grand scheme. Oh, big opening. Can we get the follow up? No. Conflict is out of a jam. Has the rage art available? We even have the white Tech. gloves like this. Is this court? What a, what a, what a scheme. <laughs> what a oh, well blocked. Oh, and avoids them. Was that? Did they just duck him in? I think they just ducked him in. They got around it. Keeling getting a taste of their own medicine. How many things they've ducked under? <laughs> 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 That's fair, man. 
I've had times where I've done a mid that hits so low as she ducks it, but nice Wayne is doing here. It will get a solid combo into the wall, OTG setup, goes for a throw, but well picked. Arkelik activates heat, pushes their way out of the corner until a big launch from Key Ling gets the momentum swinging back in their favor. Pressure on the wall. How do you get up? Do you get up? Is the question that we're starting to ask. Oh Conflict cannot participate in the game. All they had to do was get up normally, man. Like, they kept rolling. I don't know why you kept rolling. Oh, Wayne and Moon. Nice command grab. I've, I've been saying this. Put that command grab on King and you're terrified. Right? You're terrified. Did not take notes. Oh, another Jeez, Wayne and Moon. Really throwing the kitchen sink at conflict right now. One touch will pick up game number one. Oh, there it is. The heat burst. And an absolutely smart play. Just immediately go into it. Your opponent's one HP. And Mario feeling sad that he bet up his little brother. <laughs> Dude, that, that win pose with these two outfits. <laughs> just Mario, like, did I just break you? Are you, you good? <laughs> <laughs> Just Luigi crying on the floor going like, Mama, 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 yo. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord. I love that. That's actually great. But yeah, if you guys are enjoying what you're seeing right now, we have two codes left in that match arena, guys. We have two codes left. Two, right? Get no, not two. Sorry. Free. Battle. Free. I'm uneducated. That's on me. Free codes left. <laughs> Click on there, hit log in, hit your Twitch, right? I can see the Twitch accounts, just go ahead and do that. Try to get rid of them. Let's make it happen. Come on, guys. Going into game two, healing conflict. I, I'm, I'm really excited to, to have this matchup play out in particular because Lars as a character is one of the, to me, like, you kind of stop playing Tekken 8 and start playing Lars 8 just because he's such a, he has such a unique offense. But yeah. P-Ling does that to everyone with Zhao Yu, because like, Zhao Yu's a very unique character themselves, so it's putting P-Ling in a position where they ha they have to play against a very unique character. I want to see how that's played out. So far, yeah. pretty well for them. Both pretty unique overall. Oh, oh nice. Ooh. Good team rush to get into the round here. Went for the smash, and they thought they could escape that situation there, but P-Ling just chased them. Not so much. Heat burst, conflict, plenty of gray health, but it might not matter. Try to dash in. Keep your entry. Round two. I, going into the I see a code redeemed. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's get it. <laughs> she even has the mustache. Yeah, I think they both got that mustache. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Nice. Good spin. Big time launch. Mario so Brothers, can't, can't we just find a peaceful resolution to this conflict? No. <laughs> <laughs> I choose oh, violence. Sweet. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Peeling absolutely running it right now, but I think conflict wants to just immediately get into their own. Went for some blows, but eventually blocked by Peeling. Oh, that's oh. it. Luigi with the high jump gets the opening. He first. Nice. Ooh, healing, ready for the low, gets the punish. Not too much damage, but it just stops the onslaught. If Conflict needs to make this comeback happen, they need to get some type of knockdown and just run <laughs> offense from there. That's not gonna be easy. No clean hit. Did they duck I like on the I, I, Between these two characters and the way they're interacting right now, I, 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 I do know that Conflict was able to pick up that round. They're not done just yet. That's gross. <laughs> they can duck that. Just two look. weird characters like awkwardly flipping in front of each other and beside each other. Yeah. Oh, good running free. Goes for the... Are you okay? <laughs> Underneath, by the way. That's insane. <laughs> Yao you absolute limbo champion. Spring kick on the wake up. Conflict applying pressure. Look at the hero pose. Ooh, rushing in. Luigi with the mix. Okay. okay. Patience here. Oh! Oh! I call I'm that the in case of emergency, the, the special occasion. <laughs> you, you do it once a set. Honestly, it's so cool. It is so sick. My man Conflict just went for it. They ducked that again. Oh, no. oh my god. 
Oh my god, I don't, I don't know how I feel about that getting ducked, if I'm honest. It, 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 it is of note. I'll put it like that. Conflict <laughs> waiting their turn patiently. How long is this combo going? Yeah, I'd want to flip out of there too. I get it. Honestly, <laughs> I, I would love to leave as quickly as I could. <laughs> the low, oh. the flip, the game. Key Ling, 2-0 victory. Conflict was just warming up them. If that went to a game three, I don't know, man. Honestly, I think that was the best. Embers on the gen. Oh wait, Lorfe. Sometimes an exchange of blows can be revealing. And he literally just responds with, oh. Right, <laughs> put up the dukes. Fight. Yeah, yeah, sure, go ahead. Come on. <laughs> but yeah, here we go, Aaron the Amber. Shake, Gen V Shao Yu. Perfect. Love that stuff. And it's funny, right? These are, these are two very basic customs, right? One literally just has the base costume, one just literally has a red suit. Compared to the Mario Kart League we YouTube just saw. Um, it, it really brings us back down to her. <laughs> that, that, that's the uh, we have Dante at home. <laughs> I like oh it. It's cool. God. It's cool. That's Not cool. Me. But you know, we're just, we're just at home though. Oh. <laughs> nice. Chip them away at them. One more hit for the kill. Oh. Watch your shin. Unlucky. Round two. Jake, round one. Fight. He's back. Rushes him with the demon palm. Nasty stuff with the health speed. And the health, dude, the wave dash with the heat is just so menacing looking. That glowing red eye, you know, trouble is on the horizon. Heads up play there by Shake by Delang and Rico. Still Ooh. on the defensive side of things as they go through a wall. Nice. the Embers, looking pretty solid so far. Yeah, people in chat saying they call us the matchup. I can fix them. <laughs> she kind of oh, did, God. though, to be real. Yeah, to be real, yeah. I think she's the only one of them at, like, what, what do you want to be uh, when you grow up? <laughs> By the way. <laughs> I don't know. I think Matt's just so well mentally messed up from having to fight his dad, but, you know, it's just the way like that, you know? <laughs> Turns out that sometimes it'd be like that. A couple of curious trades, and that's a huge life lead for him. Oh! Ba -ba -ba. Not gonna count one more attack for the finale. It goes with the down four. Gave him a drum roll heat engager. We, we've seen Aaron go for the low off of those heat engage rush ups a couple what? times. I wonder if Shake is gonna keep an eye out for that. Nice. Going straight for the command grab. And this leads to really good okay, but unfortunately, this one does too. Yeah, you can get juke and punish. I'm sure Aaron's not too used to that. Good pickup, Shake picking up game one. Hell of a conversion there. What? Please stop. Jen, Jen, you're, all right. you're all right. And he's just unconscious, like crumpled up, looking like Peter Griffin. <laughs> just teeth on the floor. Like, man, is done. <laughs> Round one. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. Jen's a good guy, though, right? Jen's a good guy. <laughs> That, that interaction is so weird, she just steps around the low and along. And Xiaoyu has peak evasion. Close to the med. Try to catch him with a down two, but well blocked here. Yeah, Shake is starting to really key in on when he's down to these lows. A big launcher. Should be able to close out the round if I knew anything about Xiaoyu. Absolutely. And still add more to go. Yeah, the insane thing is, people were saying that she has high damage in this game, and I'm like, well, no, 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 no. <laughs> she just gets high damage, right? Oh my god. Nice. Yep. Aaron's really... They, they do really well at just chipping away with, like, solid one two hits, taxing the health bar. Not necessarily playing off the big openings, and as I say that, an electric and a half. Smash keeps pressure going oh. white rising fours, but no! Oh. Do I get the counter head sweep here? Shake in so much damage to the wall. Eesh. Oh, oh my god. god. That was all guaranteed. Oh. Yeah, well, what so if I that. wake up and throw these down twos out? My man woke up and hold crouching down forward four. <laughs> and it worked. As you do. There by Shake. 
keeping pressure on. Starting to adopt some of that one, two, you know, small Tekken game plan. Aaron's gonna get a turn. Yeah, I feel as if that run we just there for Shape was just pure check to be able to be I don't think he got a single combo. Nice. Oh, there we go. The spacing, the timing. Precise Tekken 8 at play there on the part of Shape. Nice. Oh, wow, whale rising to the wall. Use the use. Decent combo. Oh, I think they're going for where the launcher shake was having no part of that. Good throw break. Follow up to 4 4 2. Aaron trying to keep the pressure on. Counter hit. Check your lows. Check the ankles. Shake actually does. Gets an opening. Going, just poking away at them and catches them with the follow up. And I think they can kill Ooh. with the OTG shake taking that set too. Asking Jen if they're all right. They are not. Get this man a stretcher. <laughs> heck of a performance, heck of a run by Aaron, but ultimately shake was not too sturdy. Wait a second. Round one. Oh, yeah. Slaughterwall, London Nina, and their the name Abe is Abe Lincoln Nina? <laughs> You know, they do got guns. They do got guns. That does make sense. And oh, also, no. their name and game is Lucky Williams. <laughs> that is... <laughs> uh, very cute. curious story for Slaughterwall here. <laughs> I can't see. I respect that. Uh, but yeah, your boy Fear Silence kind of running it right now. I see some Nina play. Fear doesn't seem to be too excited to see some Nina play. They're not trying to let Slaughter Wolf press any button at all. Okay. Tracking is real. Just knocking on the door of this defense. Oh! Okay, that was clean. Quick poke to the sternum. Got him. Round one. Yeah, they were expecting their opponent to have a, a moment where they would just kind of freeze up because they're stuck in the corner one tap away. But the opponent just was not. They were ready to challenge out. Fear Silence got the throw breaks at the ready. Slaughter Wall says, so do I. Put the low. Back at the wall, though. The wall explosion was a threat. Love the repositioning there from Slaughter Wall. Oh, no. When, when you see Nina's doing that, you know they're ready. They're locked in. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Good tech on the throw. One to avoid as much damage as possible there. Nice. Oh, the hatchet's kicking oh, in, but no. The Hadouken? Great challenge. The Hadouken. The Kamehameha wave? <laughs> it's kind of nutty that um they challenged that after a big hatchet. Usually a very plus meaty low. And uh, they just went for it. And it was a good challenge. Sometimes you just got to go for it. Take your opponent yeah. by surprise. Good enough to type the round count, but oh no. You're not dead. Counter hit into the explosion. Are you not that? You, uh, right? Like that, that moment? Are you? Okay. Gets another shot at it. A lot of great health. Could definitely fight their way back. A little jab check into the heat smash. Into the low, into a second round pickup here for Fear of Silence. And them two is just one of you lows. Like, just let's chip away our opponent. Nice job standing, you know? <laughs> <laughs> It's just one of those constant threats you gotta worry about. Slaughterwall off to an amazing start here, but Fear Science is gonna chip away at that lead. Oh! Ooh, wow. Careful. Is that, is that the parry? I believe so. Oh no. Such a violent Keep your power you get, get Oh my god. Fear Science wants game number one. As the plus brings has the advantage. Back to the wall. Slaughterwall fighting their way out in the <laughs> slow zoom in. Hadouken! Final round. And they, they even got the cigar in their mouth. I just realized that. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. I, I immediately pick at the clip of Mario. Oh my lord. <laughs> nice. Like poking back and forth. Yeah. Nice. Uses his tracking move to deny that pressure. Good tech on the throw. Fear of Silence really wants to rush in and get the game plan started. The hatchets. Pressure. Fear of Silence. Throws the heat smash hit, slaughter wall. <laughs> Speaking of walls, by the way, that is going to be a clean game one pickup. Went down to the wire. Slaughter yeah. walls by no means out of it. And, and something I want to know, I like that round then they went for. 
it was very smart and well placed because what he's doing is expecting the opponent to think a throw is coming so they use rage art so he backs up gives the opponent space and when the opponent realizes that they can challenge back goes immediately for the hop kick to avoid any low or some type of low poke uh just so smart so smart for the round then it's little nuanced things like that which are a big part of how players yeah, end up in the top eight of brackets yeah <laughs> Yeah, I, I always love seeing stuff like that because you get some insight to the higher level play, but it's also one of those things where it's like, I don't want to get caught by that again. The the conditioning over the course of the set becomes very interesting. Like, do we see that option show up again later? Does he have another route to finish things out? We're about to find out here. Round one. Here we are on the fall in Destiny. That big, cool, awesome stage. And now we're going to get a little bit of speed up to the cop, and there we go. And it seems like Fear of Silence is just running the offense when we call up. Rush through the temporal distortion just to find Fear of Silence in their natural habitat, pressuring someone against the wall. <laughs> the <old. laughs> Nice. The opponent challenges back with the Whale Rising. Ooh. Fights on a football in the end zone, but Slaughter Wall is able to answer back. That low attack. First. Smash. Check your anchors. Round three. It's such a good low man. Because it's quick, it's meaty, and it's only like main is like fair feet. So you're not gonna get launched. Good throw and how does your how's your back turn there? Unlucky. Loss of 60% of your health bar before the round truly starts. Quite the uphill battle for your science with the potions out right here. Gets the wall pumping. And the low to finish it off. If Slaughter Wall was dressed up like Abe Lincoln, I guess Fear of Silence is John Wood. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, an educational with the history here. Fear of Silence continues on. The way that Fear of Silence plays, it's it's very like go to the wall and uh, we're going to just have the game end here. We start there, end there. And it's so tough to challenge against. But again, we got Rhythm, V Shake, the Ling versus the Shaheen. And uh, Rhythm actually put a clean custom here. I like the orange and black. Very smart looking. He's off the boat. That that was a lore accurate outfit. Oh, oh damn. And that is actually huge. You see how much great health they just lost there? Yeah. Anyway, that aspect uh, of Shaheen uh, gets overlooked quite a bit, but it's having a big part to play right here. Yeah, it's it's definitely an aspect. Nice I think any move with that big gray effect that covers the screen naturally deletes gray health. So that's good to know, right? You can do that with Shaheen, you can do it with Nina, and I believe Dragonov has something like that you can do as well. What can't that character? What the hell? Huge <laughs> yeah. lift up here for Shake. Pressure on the wall. Time to play Ling Tekken 8. Nice. Immediately goes into that side step low. Baits the hop kick, but no massive punish. That's a shame. I, I like the patience from Rhythm because I absolutely would have pressed the button and got hit by the, the drop down kick there. Oh, yeah. Oh, goes for a launch, but launched themselves the iron. Dude, the hop kicks with a second hat are so disgusting. <laughs> oh, immediate sweep. Hit him with the rollout to slide. Loses the hat, not a problem. Closes out round number two. Looking for game one. Patience here. Rushing in with the down forward ones. Tries to keep the opponent on check, but Shake challenges out with the. Oh, getting a counter hat launch here. It's a oh. play there by Rhythm, looking very comfortable in this matchup. Understands when they duck, don't find their openings. Gets pushed out of the air, loses their heat smash for it. That's big. Nice, catches him in the sweep, gets the OTG, rushes in and tries to go for a command grab, but Shake obviously ducking. A big part of Ling's toolkit can avoid throws. Ooh. Also can't avoid going down one game against Rhythm. And clean custom, clean custom. Um, but yeah, that is that is something that does make fighting Ling a little bit tough. If you're a character that's based around grapples, let's say, um, playing Kang or maybe summon Jack's grabs and stuff like that, um, it's kind of hard grabbing this character. I mean, we, we saw Zhao Yu duck 
a heat burst. <laughs> 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 at that, yeah. at that point, it's just like, all right, well, you got it. Another guard break, and yet again, just in case you missed it, Rhythm is really putting on a show. What a round to start things off for game two. Hulk in here, the dead board ones. Backs up, low block, catches him on the jump. Tries to keep him in lockdown when he goes here, but Shake is just kind of like playing neutral as well, not really giving any kind of waves. Little parries. First goes up, good damage, good conversion. We got the armor break. We got the yoink of your gray life again. Rhythm is so Ooh. good at that. Yeah, well, let's see you build it back. You can. Fight. I gotta That's say, up. Panda Shake is looking a bit shook here. Potential tournament life on the line. Hi. Uh, definitely a bit shaky, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> um, like it's one of those situations where it's like the opponent you're fighting's got a lead. They're playing into your link fairly well. They're doing all the right things. Uh, it's kind of hard to adapt in these types of situations. But if you get that pressure like here, you can definitely take it away. Jake starting to build some momentum here. How does Rhythm respond? Keep bar dwindling. A snipe out of the air. Oh my god, the checks! That's so much damage as well. Oh no. Ooh. A sidestep. The closeout. Rhythm. The newcomer. Who was that masked man? Who is he? Who is this man? <laughs> Zoro swing. The character obviously has a lot of backward movement. You just get out of a lot of pressure, situ pressure situations that fear and silence enjoy. But again, your back is against the wall against fear of silence, as we see right now. Being is that bad. supposed to be Dark Samus? I think they would know it. for sure. I think the color effect gives a lot of credence to that. You might be honest with me. Yeah. I'm, I'm picking mostly because the visor mixed in with the dark colors, but what a throw. And the light greens mixed everywhere. Fear of Silence scoped out the low one wake up, though, and it might reward them with a round if they can close things out here. Oh, with the explosion that's and the rage art on deck. Why the heck not? Show them a cutscene, Fear. Yeah. Oh my god. That is just a situation that will just leak that one. Um, <laughs> having wall splats that and tacking are kind of gross, right? Because I already thought to myself, oh, he got the wall. You can just go into the rage and then it just splats and does more damage. You're like, oh, well, never mind. God damn. <laughs> Definitely dying. Fear Science is waking up. Conflict is like, I'll just go for a low here. What's the worst that could happen? It's not like he's going to do one combo to carry me across to the opposite side of the stage and kill me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. Oh my lord. Let's a rush in. Next time with the dynamic entry, but no, gonna get challenged oh. out. Oh. Check there. Complicated. Back solidly. That's the combo to the wall. Four one plus three does a ton of damage, scaling or no, and then the follow of chase conflict ties things up. Fight. So far, very tight match, very back and forth. No one's really claimed anything so far, but it's been dead cool. So blocked. Challenges out with the side steps, keeping the pressure. Oh, and he just tackled! You mm. gotta watch out for it, it can be a problem. Don't wake up, follow up damage, heat burst comes out. Conflict has a lot of strong options here, that shield move. You just gotta respect it. Oh my god. Nice. Back throw, good oh. tag though. Conflict goes back to that well. Fear of Silence is ready for it. Has the Rage Art available. Will not get the opportunity. Conflict on the verge of taking game number one. Fight. Okay. Get that Yunnan. Good duck. Able to get the combo. And because it swaps sides, gonna be able to get the wall as well. Very cool combo. Very anime like, you know. Lars is an extremely anime character. Free health or not, conflict is like, I'm not going to give you the chance. I'm happy with this trade for sure. Game number one. Keep in mind, Panda, this is a first to two. This is loser's quarters. So. Oh, I. Um, conflict is, as well is playing so fun. <laughs> it's all I can really say. I love watching uh, 
really high level arts, I would say. There's some about them that's just so entertaining. It's extremely compelling stuff. Just, I love the animations. Very dynamic character. Moves all over the place. Very mix-up heavy. A lot of variety. I'm seeing it all in play right now. Yeah. Oh, good challenge on the aerial. I think that would have been a plus as well. So, good stuff challenging that. Oh, let's go. <laughs> to the wall than I figured. Fear of silence. Ooh. He just did the backflip. Oh my lord. Ooh. Great challenge. Great space and conflict. Looking locked in right now. Yeah, the fact that he did the backflip for the spacing as well is so clever because it's essentially a backdash that avoids some loads. Right. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, we've seen conflict just kind of testing with these jabs and it's been working out. I was curious to see when the lows will come out. Fear of silence hit <laughs> right about now. Thanks for the run. Of course, Fear of Silence will definitely come back into this. They've been running it so far. Oh, that could have been gross. If they were really ready for that, they could have got a lunge and that's some nasty damage. That would have been quite the unfortunate situation. Ooh. Conflict gets out of a jam, gets up with the kick as well, back to neutral. Nice, oh. just poking away at them. Oh, interrupts the running too. That's the perfect case scenario for Conflict as they heat smash Ooh. into a round one. Conflict said no running in the house. <laughs> Only back flipping. Like, I, I get it, all the walls are, there's no roof. It's not quite the house, but still. Probably. Kind of a messed up house, not gonna lie. Where are we? <laughs> Property values. Seem better <laughs> oh, the pressure. Activates. Okay. Keep in mind, this is set point. I don't think he can kill, but it's one more guessing scenario. Steps on the shins. Watch your temps. Spookiest 50 50 of the set so far. Fear of Silence guesses correctly, gets another chance at it, runs through. I'm gonna run. He's breaking the rules, Panda. Watch your temps. Oh. Catches him with the lunge. And like you said, he broke the rules. And he broke it to take the set 2 0. <laughs> Conflict 220, 2 0 over Fear of Silence. Large. Low punch that Jack 8 does. Does that hit Ling when she's in that stance? It, it has to. Yeah, right? Lose, like, Lewis will hit the stance. Right? It, can, it, is... can't, it can't duck this. Like, <laughs> something would be wrong. No, he's jumping into it, a big launch. <laughs> but yeah, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Essentially, the whole catch her in her stance, but a lot of events, that's a hard Jack's game plan will just be avoided. And that's the unblockable. Um, it turns out I was wrong. Q Ling is the one that's going to be mixing up the rules. I'm sorry for disrespecting Q Ling. I will never do that again. We were talking about breaking out those moves you don't see all set, and Key Ling's like, no, I'm just gonna go for the unblockable to start things off. And who can argue with the strategy? You look at the light view so far. Joe Crush hasn't had much of a chance to play. Oh, yeah. So far, it is looking very um, Ling Shao Yu today. Star Phoenix. Terrifying to go up against. Joe Crush. I, you do not often see Joe Crush be this defensive, trying to find a way in, but Key Ling is just an absolute tornado right now on the stage. Oh, okay. That's nasty. Finishing him with the final mix, and Mario going to be up Android 16 in my tacking. Fuzzy hand to the head. Round one. Super Mario's like, I've jumped on Goombas bigger than you. Much. <laughs> nice poking away with those lows. Big web punish, and that should lead to some solid damage if they can get the ball right here. As we don't get the break, they get the change of scenery. Absolutely, half a health bar in one combo. Oh no! Yeah, Drop, up there's the a bit more meat on the bone. Nice. A combo here at the wall. Goes for the throw, but it's no tech. Surprise it actually hit with how much P <laughs> how much Zhao Yu gets the duck. Ah. Again, Xiao Yu's duck's oh. really good. Ooh, big command grab at least that nice combo here. Bomb. And we got it all. We got heat burst. Quick going to reserve if they so chose doesn't need it. Tries to go for the jab, gets the follow-up, chases him down. P Ling is not able to reset. Joe Crush 
showing signs of life. Yeah. Uh, I think the first one was definitely rough. But this one is going well. It's going very well for them. Um, they're actually getting the start of some momentum and feelings not being able to deny that Ooh. as much. Great throw break there from Joe Crush. Ready for the jump as well. Yeah. The combos. Tries to catch him with that palm. It's a nasty wee palm. It's the flip. Get the throw to follow up. Oh, oh, oh. Gets the combo. It's their noggin knock with the advancing forward motion. Joe Crush coming through with the heat burst as well. Pressure on the wall. Joe Crush getting back <laughs> into the thick of things here. Put the chest into it, man. You got that armor? Put it in. Joe Crush playing a bit patiently. Rushes in with the jackhammer. Probably looking for some type of opportunity catch feeling on offense right now. <laughs> oh, that could have been that. Gets away with it. Joe Crush does find the opening. Gets a launch or two. We're going to the wall. That soldier brought up his gun. He's like, hey, keep keep that fight over there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think my bullets are doing much. Yeah, I'm, I'm watching. I'm just watching. <laughs> like, I need to be careful. She got Art of Phoenix. I don't think I can hit her. <laughs> oh, my God. Big flip. Big wall carry. Oh, massive damage. Into the, the explosion? Oh, no. He gets the wall combo again. No. Ooh. Commits to the follow up and that caught peeling so off guard. Joe Crush tying it one to one. Panda, we saw peeling take game one three round rounds one. straight, ending on a perfect. Yeah. Joe Crush comes back with three rounds straight of his own. These players are out here swinging. It's kind of insane how quickly the momentum can change on set. Yeah. Nice catch him on the track in there. He tries to catch him in the back too. He first actually lands. Oh, good opening. He lands. Pushing towards the wall. Unblockable. The Nasty stuff. It's such an interesting mix up because you got to be very careful getting up, getting up in that situation, but you don't get to wait around forever. Round one for two. I think you have to go for some kind of uh, challenge on it. Um, because there's not really, like, you, can, you can't roll because they'll OTG, right? You can't lie there, OTGs. You can't get up normally and just kind of hold back because, you know, it's unblockable. So it's rough. Oh. Okay. Sky high. Doesn't get the follow-up they're looking for, and it's going to cost Joe Crush. Healing finds the launcher with all that gray life back <laughs> again, the unblockable. You just have to guess correctly. Back to the sky. Healing yeah. out here with the, the yellow cape from Super Mario World. <laughs> He's charged up. Dead. Actually dead. 10 frame wall splat wall break. Insanity that like, like Jack has that, man. Fight. I'm not dropping this stage for Oh, massive lunch. Boom. Nice. Gets it to the wall. Goes for some OTGs. Just poking away. It was like, now it's my turn to punish your kid. How does it feel? Good throw break. Awesome great help. Good smash at you. Deep burst comes out. Oh. Oh. He's just poking away at him. When, they, when Jack has you in the corner, sidestepping is no longer an amazing option, right? You can't really get out. You can't really move. He just locks you down with Jack Hammer. You just gotta have that conversation. It's a hard one. Goes for the throw, well tech. Good block. Wait with this pressure and tried to catch him with the gamma bar. It's not gonna get anything though. Joe looking very comfortable in his slower overall pace, and why not? Just get a launcher and a huge opportunity to rack some damage up. Ooh. Big ball combo. Massive challenge on the OTG. But uh, Joe Crush taking another match. Two. One, one more to go, and uh, this is kind of like not what I was expecting. I was honestly expecting Peeling to take the lead, carry it to maybe 2 0 2 1, and then Joe would have to make the comeback. But here we go, it's flipped around. This is flipped around to what I expected. Peeling, you know, they, they look nigh untouchable all night. Joe said, Oh, actually, quite tangible indeed. <laughs> they they started off so hot, like three, three rounds straight, gets the perfect. Joe Crush just made some adaptations, 
And again, anytime Joe Crush can get you against the wall like that, I don't care who you are. You are struggling. You are struggling for real. <laughs> you have to guess correctly. You have to be very precise with how you respond because other, otherwise you either get just blown up or chipped away at with those lows. It's tough. Why? Oh, oh, man. But here we go. Here we go. Oof. Okay. So possibly final match. And I think, you know, they're backing out. They're going to pick a different stage. And I believe the cabinets are set to first to two. Um... Which is, you know, it's a little annoying for the first to three point. It's perfect for everything else. It's perfect for everything else. But at I this hadn't point, even considered yeah. that. Yeah, this is why we're mostly staring at the the cabinets. But here we go. We've actually, I can actually see some of the um, the tournament players within the lobby. I see Rhythm right there with that Mokujin. Oh my god! I think Harada. I think Harada held a poll and he was just like, "Who wants to see Mokujin back?" And most people are like, "Yes." <laughs> <laughs> Like, he's so fun. I, I had theorized we would go to Yakushima. I mean, Honestly. keep Joe Crush away from wow. walls, breaks. Fight, fight yeah. him in an open field if you can, because otherwise you're, you're going to find him. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. Um, with the walls, you know, it's it's something that you can take advantage of and keep pressure. But peeling having a lot of space means that you can retreat very well into this matchup, but they ain't retreating, they're on the offense, goes for the throw, and they ain't breaking. And I don't think I've seen so many unbreakables in one set. Like, I get it, it's a unique, weird setup to where it looks like it's oh my pretty God. reliable, but... Oh. Like, the unblockables we're seeing is kind of gross. <laughs> I will say that. Again! Again! Oh, good tech. And nice... That was a really good RP. Over the high, even. They didn't even need to do that. Healing. Looking like an absolute menace. Getting back into form. And we might be on our way to game five here. Yeah. Oh, massive launch. Boom, boom. Boom! Ooh. And again, has to kind of just go for OK. You can't really go for it. Form of wall carry. Oh, can he OTG? Catches him with the low. Maybe Joe Crush will come back into this match and take the set, but who knows? Who knows? Time will tell. It would be one hell of a statement if he was able to bring this all the way back. Joe Crush definitely has some lethality to them in an open field. They don't need the wall. They don't need it at all, but... Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Joe said, keep, keep your sidestep. No, I'm ready. wakes up, gets the kick, gets the launch. Panda, I think we're going to game five. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. And here's the thing, right? Here's the thing, Holleran, right? Mm. Will Joe Crush change stage? Because if he rematches, I would mm. find that to be uh, a little foolish, right? If you have, yeah, he's changing stage. If you have control of like changing stage and that type of situation gets a uh, character like Ling, you do it, right? You don't play in the infinite again. That that's the that's the Joe Crush effect. Like you have to fight him on a stage he prefers at the end. No matter what. Because if it's a first to two, you win the first game, he chooses the stage. He goes to he goes to a phone booth and just Get bullies you in the, the corner. Same deal for for he actually kept Yakushima. Hmm. Huh. <sighs> okay. Um so why did they back out? Round one. Just to take a breather, perhaps. Who knows? Either way, get back here in Yakushima. Go like the wide open spaces too. I, oh, I thought for sure we were getting some walls. If I, you know what I think it could be, uh, Cali Collect. Correct me if I'm wrong. Are you using the new rule where um, stages are random? Because if so, Yakushima probably has them on random twice in a row. Uh, curious Ooh. dice roll answer. I'm very curious. <laughs> Ooh. Rushes in. Keeps fresh going. Nice challenge with the high. The launch! Joe weathered one heck of a storm to find an opening and get around for it. The defensive game is really starting to come together for Joe Crush to get an idea of the, the strings, the lows, and the duck. He links finding out when the low parry. See an adaptation out here. Ooh. Nice. 
walking away. Going for it. Backs up. Tries to poke ahead, but not gonna get anything. Okay. Alright, so we're, we're learning that the cabinets just randomly select the stage every time. Ah. Look at the damage. Look at the closeout. Yeah, and will Joe Crush take the set from here? Like, they on the lead. Oh my god, going for the one. And it's really plus, by the way. That one is really plus. This one just has to respect that, and it was a good tactical healing. Ooh, good tech. break. The pressure. Good I love the option there. Joe Crush. Low on health, peeling in a great spot. Joe Crush definitely knows how to bring a round back to their favor, though. We could see the closeout right here. He dash forward, peeling, solid defense, holds. Oh! Oh, tombstone! Careful, peeling! Trying to get up. Joe Crush is there and will see someone else as they move on to Winterside Grand Finals. What a tombstone, holy shenanigans over the course of this top eight. But I don't think he's had anything, you know, to this extent where there's going to be all kinds of mobility. So I'm curious to see how he responds to it. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited to see uh, the Shaheen versus Lars. And what outfit is this? Just a casual green shirt? Like, no, you, you messed me up there, right? Rocking the old Navy fit. I bet you this has to be something because he's got the ghost on him, but I don't know, man. I don't know. Oh, nice. Wow. Follow up pressure. Low check. Oh! They both made each other. That's insane. Oh. <laughs> Dude, that's and, uh, dumb. I, so I knew the shenanigans were going to be real in this. Round one is already showing that off. Yeah, because both these characters have some crazy level of vision, right? Um, especially the the slave that we got to see right there from Shaheen. And Conflict just, you know, playing Lars. Just belt for it. And that was insane. That was insane. A med crushing Ooh. the low, they low is crushed the mid. <laughs> <laughs> a trade into a dual knockdown into Rhythm getting up with the low parry. What kind of insanity are we looking at right now? <laughs> Rhythm oh carries conflict over to the wall, and we're going for a change of scenery again. Such a fast-paced match. Both players just look so in control. Conflict said, get ready for this 50-50. Rhythm's like, but what if I heat switch? What if it was just really quick? Oh, good tank for the armor. Back up, went for it back. Dude, what is this match? It's so quick. It's so fast. Bro, break. I'm, I really want to see Rhythm try to go for a slide when when Lars jumps back like that. Like if he if he sniffs it out, I, I, I know the slide doesn't go that far, but I think it could be an interesting kind of thing. Why? It's like you definitely uh, probably can't play that. I can see it happening in my head. Probably as the play, but again, Lars is so evasive, he'd probably jump over it with some of his moves. <laughs> right. Oh my Ooh. god! It's anti-air than like we're playing a 2D fight. Or what the hell? That worked out big time. Beat out the heat smash, burns out the bar. But we're looking at a very even game until that 4-4-2 four, four, and we're sliding home safe. Round four. Round four. Good pressure. Good pressure, man. Venom's really running up. Nice. Follow up. Good sidestep. Rhythm throws out the slide for the first time so far in this set. That patience here. Playing a big spacing game, keeping back, looking for an opportunity again, and holding way up. Slowly but surely, check the way that helps. Yeah, this is going to be a tough road, tough moment for Rhythm here, so long as that heat gauge is going to be there, but Rhythm's like, oh, I'm fine with it. Super, entirely missed. Heat smash comes out, gets blocked. Watch your feet. Oh, <laughs> watch your feet back. Oh, my lord. You win. Are Rhythm you kidding? Yeah, yeah, I think he's kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I don't but think yeah. he is. Rhythm perfectly times the heat smash. What an interrupt. What a statement. Game one. Again, so much back and forth. It's, it's pure class, right? 
it's what you want to see in a fighting game. It's just like no control. Both players are fighting for control, and, that, and that's exactly it. Oh my god. The folks. Block there for the low. Gets Ooh. underneath, gets the long conflict putting Ooh. in work right now on this wall. It doesn't break. It's not even cracked. What? Yeah, I'm kind of shocked as well. I thought the shoulder would also crack it. But I think it had a point where the damage is unscaled, but doesn't crack the Ooh. wall. But big orbo for that round win. Round two. Free dome check. Courtesy of the orbo. <laughs> Yeah, War Bulls are so nasty in this game, man. Such a good pressure tool. Mid launcher. Pretty safe. Damn. Shoulder. I love that move from Lars. Grab him off the wall after out of the air. Probably one of the sickest, like, air throws in the game. Like, just pull. How do you pull a man live in the air with one arm, right? That, that just really shows the power of Lars. Nice. Chip the mate. Gauge to get in. Follow up. 50 50. Time to guess. I really love these hoppins he's going for. It's been evading a lot of tools. And uh, it's just getting some good damage on the board. Nice check there from Rhythm. Gets the gauge. Pressure back towards the corner. Wall could play a factor here as well. There's a slide. Puts himself in a corner for it, though. All right, gets himself out of a jam. I was a bit concerned for him, Bander. All right, I think uh, he was confident in getting out of the corner because he had heat, you know? So get the OTG and then just sort of rush out, you know? So very clean on that. Oh, grabs the armor. Big, well timed. Not able to punish the wake up of the heat burst. It's the second time we've seen Rhythm go for that. Hasn't worked out. The low comes through and then conflict is just out. The mobility from Lars is insane. Not only can he get in and out, he can also jump stuff, you know? He's kind of got like the uh, whole Akuma thing to attack in seven. Ooh. Nice. I think Rhythm was going for a round ending low there, but the jab from Comfort was perfectly timed. Ooh. Okay. Oh, never mind. Well placed heat burst, but as we know, only plus two enforces crouch. Meaning the opponent can go for some kind of interruption if they aren't tight with it. Big sweep though in the counter hat. Let's get a big combo to the wall. Conflict is getting some reads to start the final round out here. They want to even the score up. Rhythm, jab pressure, just outside mid range play working out well for Conflict until a slide comes out. Spring kick. Ooh! I got low parries for days, Rhythm says. I'm well aware of this strike. Good stuff there. Gets the wall. Both players can kill off of an interaction here. I'm kind of scared for every one of them. But the OTG with the slide rhythm going up 2 0. Oh, and remember, first to three. We ain't done yet. We could see the beginnings of a long set here. Com that, that was right down to the wire. Rhythm playing phenomenally well, but conflict is right there in it. We're getting back Get into it. Rhythm is up 2 0. Shaheen, Lars, conflict. Gets another crack at it. They, they, they were warming up to the overall matchup. Yeah. It could have easily it could easily be 1-1 one, one right now. Uh, other interesting note, we've decided to go to a massive stage. And this kind of benefits both characters because they're so movement based. So overall, this ain't a bad choice for either player. I absolutely agree. Lars, I love these larger stages. I, I can just back away whenever I feel like. He, he's going to be playing Tekken on ice. Skate around. My man loves skating. Ooh, Ooh. gonna get caught by that 442. Kinda mental that uh, Shaheen also has a demon palm. Yeah, I was about to say, rid him with the Jin impersonation. <laughs> oh my god. Nah, when it comes to the uh, East Demon Palm, it's, it's definitely, um, like, Reyna. That, that move is disgusting. Ooh, nice. Okay. Backs up. Good defense there from Comfort. I, I would have expected a low there so able to block that huge life leap, but what a response! Hello? Ooh. Yeah, just keeping that pressure going. And went for the jump in, but gonna get stepped. Catches him in the OTG though. Conflict coming back into this match. Hopefully they can try to take a couple of matches, get us to that game five scenario. Kick the head off his face. <laughs> Yeah, I do like that in some costumes is like they knock their hat off or take their hood down. I kinda wish there was a sense that doesn't happen. 
<laughs> yeah. It's my oh. Yeah, yeah, it's not that. You know what I mean? That. Nice rasher. Goes for the throw, not tech. Wow. That's gonna, yeah. Such a violent axe kick as well. As the damage to close things out, rhythm here. Match point potentially. Another throw. No break. Conflict. How do we get up? We've seen that heat burst option a lot from Rhythm here. He's trying to punish him. Getting up in an orbital could change the game. Right, clever play. Stay that sensor off the meds, enter off the wall, and just catch him for that. Right, essentially. Ooh. That is safe. Gets the counter here. Gets Can the he get the wall? They needed. They got pretty close. Not going to need it this time. Again, Panda, we find ourselves final round. And, uh, you know, best luck to Conflict. Hopefully they're able to bring it back. That's, that's the main goal for me, I'd say. Pac-Man Conflict. The more Tekken, the better. Good slide, rhythm. The spring kick gets just around that follow-up punch. Keep your elbow inside Ooh. the vehicle at all times, Conflict says. <laughs> we whip punish out here. Nice. Sets up the pressure, keeps jabbing at him. Backs up, locks the axe cat, goes for the orbital, but gonna get interrupted by Rhythm's then forward one. Oh, we picked up right here. Finishes out the combo, surfs him back into the center of the stage, punishes the wake up. Rhythm. It's like the follow up isn't enough. It is Rhythm. 3 0. Hotly contested, moving forward. God damn it. Congratulations, man, to the free oh, rhythm struggle against Joe Crush. This is definitely a different beast SpongeBob coming out to play. But their fundamentals are solid. Rhythm's been playing extremely well. I think they could give feeling a good run for their money. I think I that was SpongeBob. <laughs> <laughs> I assume it's funny. What yeah, it is, it is. it's the white shirt, red tie, brown pants, sponge head. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you are healing. Why are you so clever with these uh, customs, man? Holy. Nice. That patience here. Healing just going for the back flips. Not afraid to give up so much space. And it worked out for them because of that run and free. Oh my word. Jumped in at the right time. Doing a ton of damage. Getting some that great health back. Should he can definitely take that away. Might not get the opportunity here. Ooh. Plenty of trap. Oh my god. The reach made it to the wall, made it through round one. I meant it was left there. Good stab Good. gets the launch. Wow. This is only Peeling's round. Peeling said 3D fighter, by the way. <laughs> Great opening. Good pressure. Nice block from Rhythm. Fighting their way out. Oh. Break the orbital. Gets punished with another launcher. Peeling. Showing some of these neutral fundamentals. Attack on the pro as well. Rhythm challenging out with the heat burst, but gonna get crushed on their low. That's something you gotta watch out, man. It's just even the bicycle you. kick. Yeah, everything's gonna crush you, man. That's the whole thing. Nice throw. Rhythm's been doing a great job of breaking all those throws up until then. Could be a point of concern. It's a good combination. Activate. Nice. Oh, I've seen P Lang do some interesting shenanigans off the wall. I'll never count them out when they're there. Oh, I go thing. The wall gimmicks are by far like some of my favorite stuff in this game, especially when it's a uh, character like Ling who does a big backward. Look at this damage here. OTG needs one more oh guess for the God. kill. And it's that med kick. Healing found the perfect angle to not go into the wall right away. That The, the presence of mind to, to get that extension, absolutely insane stuff. One thing I've noticed so far, because we saw Rhythm fight Zhao, Zhao Yu earlier. Yeah. Rhythm was really good at taking the great health away. Not getting that opportunity at all. In but it doesn't seem like it's uh, happening. Um, it's so difficult to try and delete a lot of that great health. The healing has had a good bet of great health. Oh, what well, low parry. Doesn't get the combo that they were looking for, but I like where your head's at. They out here thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, the waning moon. 
gonna get a massive combo, probably try to set up some kind of cheeky OTG setup. Oh, forty percent off a bro. It's kinda nice. Oh waiting moon again. With the wall splat this time. Good lord, Finling does not look like they're happy to be on the loser side of this bracket right now. They made it to second place last week, got through the grand final reset, was not able to close all the way out. They're looking to remedy that right here. Oh my god. Ooh, good duck. Oh, and challenges out with the jab. Clean stuff there from Red. I'm using that too. Imagine whipping a high on P Ling and living to tell the tale. <laughs> oh, Somehow so Rhythm made it through that round. Once I saw that foot come through, I'm like, oops. I'd have been terrified, honestly. <laughs> I'm like, do I really want from a high this character? Ooh. Okay. Rhythm's starting to do some Shaheen things here. Maybe they're warming up. Maybe, maybe. Ooh, nice. Did some solid damage here. Peeling just running the offense. Goes for the low max. Keeps going for the low med max. He's gonna have to guess here. Well blocked. Rhythm just slowly getting chipped away. My man is in our rock predicament. Peeling commands so much respect. They were they turned their back to Rhythm. Dashed up, stop, sidestep, stop, and Rhythm still just was not moving. Like, I don't, I don't know what you're doing. I don't want to get caught. <laughs> honestly, man, I, I guess I guess this character, I'm, I'm scared of myself. I honestly don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Ooh, thanks, sweet. Nice. Nice. Okay, Rhythm. Going low, starting to work out, and the follow up on the blocks. Fighting back. Spin. Ooh. Right in the sponge. Final round. Oh my god. Big time launcher. Coming back to business. Nice. Massive. Oh, the wall. Imagine yeah. losing 55% of your health bar for pressing a button at the start of the round. Yeah, that'll teach you on it. Oh! And the rundown, Rhythm fought so hard to get to this final round scenario. Gets into round five and Keeling turns on the Jets. And and they're not even playing Elisa. It's crazy. Dude, Alice is not easy, well, man. <laughs> um, she's a character that always scares me whenever I fight her. Because, like, the chainsaw knowledge is kind of messed up. I've started learning a fuzzy or some form of defense against it so whenever i have hold it i'm like i just have to guess man yeah peeling is gonna get fun to watch though battle. their offense on uh ling is so clean they're able to mix up their game plan so hard and even when they're back into that corner they're still escaping round one you can never count Fight. peeling out He's going into game three of losers finals peeling looking for the 3-0 victory rhythm the unknown first time we've seen him here makes it this far Hell of a run, they're gonna try to keep it going. Yeah, Rhythm's leading a solid that help already. And I think that's the first heat drive that's hit that RF Phoenix. <laughs> right. Oh, nice punish. Nice. Some precision here. Good grief. Yeah, it does seem like feeling, even though it could be put in a horrible situation, could just make a comeback like that. It's just in their blood. What, what if it was my turn? <laughs> Says P Ling. Quite often. Guard break, rhythm, trying to play the game. Getting some offense going. Good punish. Good pressure off the wall. Good follow up. Can they close Ooh. it out? Absolutely. Uh, that was just a pure Shaheen run. Amazing offense. Had you locked down in the corner and just like carried it from there. All right, keys to success against P Ling. Hey, don't get launched at 60 seconds. <laughs> honestly, honestly, it's it's probably the nature. Like Ling has so many launchers, so many counter hit launchers. It's hard to play enter without going. I might die. <laughs> you're you're risking a lot just by trying to interact in perfect round four. Set point he, here for P Ling. P Ling did not like dropping that round. <laughs> honestly, <laughs> just like not screw this man. I don't it's even want to give you a round anymore. Stingy with him. Oh, 
putting all kinds of pressure. Oh, big punish or not? Yeah, unfortunately missed that. I think it was because of the low down recovery. Nice, the ice kick to deny any form of evasion. Gets the sweeps. Just staying in with Ooh. the lows here. Ooh! Don't tell him. Can he make Can it happen? Him do it. He's on the verge of bringing his all the way back. Our cheeky slide. Oh. No, a juke, a launch, and GG's. The you didn't have oh, to make the no. launch that. That's oh, messed up. No. That's so messed up. Ugh, SpongeBob left that fetish. P Link said, "This is for Bikini Bottom out. See me in Grand Finals. Didn't have to do that. Messed up, man. Ever That's the chauffeur. Amazing stuff. P Link 3-0 victory. Rhythm again. It's probably one of the smallest characters. And it's the it's the power versus like I guess speed, you know, it's a classic <laughs> as well. Fight. A little bit of spec there slow down, but we're gonna get right into the T bag and he just rushes in with a low, that's so messed up. A curious stage for this immediate matchup. You know, no no wall breaks or any, any kind of shenanigans like that, but this could end up being very claustrophobic for P-Link because yeah, you have one combo, the wall is right there. Joe Press loves that. Low yeah. parry. Bow. 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 Nasty stuff. Fun combo there. Did a lot of damage. OTG the hell out of it. And I often wonder if the person in winter side grand finals is gonna come into the set a bit cold because you know if you're winter side you're waiting to see the rest of the bracket stand up to you. Go crush looks very ready for the proceedings. Here. I you're absolutely right. Nice pickup gets the OTG. Feeling just frantic some good offense. Oh does it take the throw? Wow, okay, okay. That's kind of nice, uh, uh, because Joe Crush has been tacking some of his throws, right? Nice. I think it was the timing mix-up, because P Ling's coming in hot off the heat dash, actually doesn't press anything and just steps back a little bit to see if they could bait something out. And by the time the neurons fired in Joe Crush's brain, he was like, wait, what? Throw comes through. Yeah, he gets thrown. You know, it's, it, it happens, it really does. Nice. Ooh, good deck. Josie, you're not me again, <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> oh, the damage into the OTG. One to throw them for getting up. Definitely not a bad idea on the tech chase, but sometimes they ain't gonna happen last. I don't think he can kill, but it's a guessing scenario. Oh, nice. Joe was not about that back flip. Oh, I get it. Dude, he was in the lab. Joe Crush ate that unblockable so many times. <laughs> in their set early, he's like, all right, I need to figure out how to deal with this. Honestly, honestly, you need the answer, get get it figured out. Um, the other thing is as well, uh, I've noticed Peeling has only done that on Blockable against Joe. They did not do that against the previous player at all. <laughs> I mean, if oh. you're going to go for it, why not against one of the biggest bodies in the game in a perfect Joe Crush? Looking primed and ready here, winner side. Let's go. I crushed it for the win, you know. Like 1 0. I also also like the win poses, men's flexing, you know. <laughs> round one. Next round. I'll be right at uh, Joe Crush is taking the lead so far, but can P Lang deny that and bring it back? It's going to be quite the uphill battle to force Joe Crush to play. Healing's game to play the, Zha the the Zhao Yu game. So far, it's just been, you know, healing using solid fundamentals, keeping even, but very much having to play around this offensive pressure from Joe Crush. Oh, nice armor. Nice. Magno gets knocked out in her OTG and just friends! The med immediately after getting up, it's frozen. My lord. So much chase then. Just coming after you with the sweep. I'm punishing you and get up with the launch. Healing is throwing everything at Joe Crush right now. Alright, back at the wall. And then Orbital gets right. Doesn't get the opening that they were looking for. I can do that too. He first comes out. Oh. Look at the chip damage. Never mind. No health bar at all. I, you, you really don't want to block anything against 
against Jack. As soon as he pops heat, you really just don't want to block. Or you don't want to get hit. You just don't want to, you know? Did I really block at all? Comes the question. Oh! Panda. So Panda. How, how does she avoid that? And gets the unblockable. P Ling is so back. <laughs> oh my god. That's so messed up. Breaks the throw, gets the flip, goes for the sidestep, gets the pancake. Oh my god. P Ling is so back. Yeah. I feel as if, like, like Peeling has really got their momentum back. Like, they, they're really just feeling themselves right now. Really nice. The offense. Ah, oh, no, TG after the knockdown, that's a shame. Go ahead and activate the E first. Give Joe a fresh chance, gets the throw. As he follow runs up with a quick jab. Ooh, breaks through the E first of their own. E dash. Crush using the tin frame to slow things down a bit. A throw, we break that one. A launch. Healing's got it. Game one. Game two. Tied up one apiece now. Now SpongeBob looking kind of muddy there. You have to clean up. <laughs> oh, scuffed oh sponge I've ever seen. Ah, <laughs> uh, there we go. Perfect. All right, nice and clean. All right, Hollow Run. It's tied one one. All right. We're going in that. Did you frankly get a game five scenario? I, I think it's a card. I think it's at least game five. At least, yeah, at least, right? Maximum, definitely a reset. Oh my Do God. you see this gray hair? <laughs> to be fair, to be fair, she is kind of getting a good bad of back. And to earning it, to say the least. They got back as well. Dead? He's dead. He is dead, right? Ignore that part. Look at her health. It just came back. So even if he left from that scenario, you can can't play for time. Oh, the waiting good. Yiling. The more we see them play in in this grand final set, the, the more they're warming up. Joe Crush. Gonna get some offensive momentum of their own started, but the nice break up there from Yi Ling back to neutral. Boy. Nice. Both players just kind of respecting the spacing. It's like, I, I'm not going to stick anything out there just yet. I know it's going to be pressure there. No crush. I went out. Ooh, nice. Oh, good get. Ah, oh, dude. He's been grabbed so many times. I, 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 don't, I don't think Joe's tech, but... Joe, stop! Like you're a Jack player, not a Ken player, right? <laughs> you got Tank and Rose. Unlucky P Ling, more than happy to take every throw they can get. On the verge of going up one, going up game two, games to one. The grand final, heat smash, a good amount of damage here. Doesn't get spiked. I was a little worried they were gonna get planted. Oh yeah. Joe Crush coming back. Force field working out. Oh my God. The back two. It's one more hit for the finish, and it's just playing patient. Yeah, that's just clever. That's just clever. Peeling needs to approach you, look for something, challenge them out, and that's what he does with that rule there. Clever stuff. Also, We're apparently, seeing a chat now that that's guaranteed. Yeah. Unlucky. I was yeah, I was just about bringing up, and it's like someone in chat is literally saying that's guaranteed. <laughs> guaranteed. To be fair though, it's all great help, so that is the positive. He gets a heat engager, it's all bad. At all with Joe Crush and the amount of damage they're used to putting out. Jesus! Right? They all involved. That was just he. I have Nate Wartsman. That was disgusting. <laughs> Neither one of these players are relenting at all. Like, you'll see two dominant rounds, and you're like, okay, this player's starting to pull away with Joe Crush. Like, no, not so much. They don't want the grand finals reset. They want to close it out right now. But the throw break, we are not seeing these throws. Get broken here. Nice. Get some solid damage. Rushes the offense. It's a game one in scenario. And there it is. That was on the other side. They would have been flipped out in the o into the ocean and how high they were. It's crazy. P Ling, two games, two one. 
Have they figured it out? Do we see the grand finals reset? We saw these two players go down to the wire last time. It was a game five scenario where Joe Crush was able to pull it out. We've seen Joe Crush time and time again in this immediate set just never be entirely out of it. They can just take a round. They get one opening. They get one launcher. The lethality is insane. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of nutty that both these characters Get can be insanely lethal at different health points, you know? Like, Joe is playing Jack. He just did, like, 60% no wall, just heat, right? Mm -hmm. And then Peeling's playing Xiaoyu, and with heat, they're able to get, like, 60% without a wall as well. And with a wall, they get OTG setups for, like, 70. It's, it's kind of nutty. It's kind of nutty. You don't get to make too many mistakes inside the one of these players. That's the cool. Big yeah. Open here for Joe. Crush oh, healing answers back. Oh. We're going towards the wall, Panda. Yeah, I think the wall needs to be damaged before you can break it. So it's one of those stages where it's like the wall is a little annoying, but when you get it broken, oh my lord, that's the stuff right there. Speaking of walls, we haven't really seen Joe Crush do some of their. You know, insane pressure against the walls on get up. Healing has done a great job of avoiding that. And as I say it, oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh -oh. <laughs> uh -oh. commentators, cars, commentators, as cars. I say it, uh -oh. uh, it happens yeah. to the best and worst of us. I will say that. <laughs> Ooh. Nice, just poking ahead. Nice, massive launch there for healing. Able will get confirmed. It goes for the unblockable here again. Jesus Christ. Imagine being a Jack player. Force field. Going for the tombstone again. Cheeky, I like it. Ooh. Good deck. The back dash as the dash four comes out. Both of these players tombstone. are in sync right now. We do get the throw. Ooh. Oh my god. Side off axis awkwardness. Oh, launch round potentially unbreakable can't get away with it can't get away stuff, from man. it nasty stuff man not unblockable it really is just the um a, a massive game changer for this matchup because you're doing even more damage mid screen right that's so <laughs> oh my lord like, that's, big that's body a jack out here i'll teach you hey don't be big body Ooh. be small body it's good for you Evasion's a thing. Well blocked. Tries to block. Tries his challenge on armor. Wow, and here we are. Panda, here we are, tell him. We are one round away from the grand finals reset. Joe Crush needs to fight their way through this if we do not want to deal with all that. Oh, I. Yeah. Hollerin, we're about to see it. We're about to see a possible reset. They're running offense so well here. Beats the heat. You're dead. That's it? That's the reset? Just like that? Peeling is such a statement player. Like we, we saw them win the last set. They used the Rage Art. They absolutely didn't need to use the Rage Art. But they, they, they have that showmanship player. And they're going to go ahead and round <laughs> things out there with the Heat Smash. Oh, here we are. Grand Finals reset. Peeling is back where they were last week. They fought through losers' grands to get to the Grand Finals. Can't they close it out here? We're gonna find out. All right, guys, show your loves for the for the players that you want and when support either Joe or Peeling. I'm curious, man. I want to see how many people want certain players to win. It, it shows some uh, energy to. It. But yeah, that's a 10 frame wall splat off of a guard crush. That's kind of gross. Big carry up, big conversion. Pressure at the wall. Do you see the damage? Yeah. One the heck OTG. of a Joe Crush round. And because we broke the wall early on, we do get the floor break. We are in the bomb part of the sink. Oh my god. Back to business on the wall. The defense oh, yeah. healing gets an opportunity after the flip. <laughs> Dude, look how much damage that actually does. To get that for free in a matchup is brutal. Uh, you get it for free, and of course, you know, at least the. Um, at least also some decent looking near a wall as well. 
it's it's just good. It's just really good. Med screen conversions all of a sudden can carry you for you. For you fight. Ooh, my lord. You just gotta choose quickly. You languish too long on the ground. I'm just gonna come through with the remix. Ooh, right backs up. Joe Crush, try and poke ahead. Uh, okay, uh, uh, you are not, right? Surely you are not about to do that. Hello? Like, one is okay. <laughs> one is one is fine. You're allowed to do one, right? But it's surely not. Maybe a, a cheeky wink to your opponent's like, alright, you whipped your thing, I'm just gonna kinda show you, like, oh, I could've got you. I could've got you. No, oh, nice. I like that look for the forward momentum to go for the heat. Nice. Can you and Joe Crush start delaying these throw breaks? Get tax health with unblockables, you need that. A flip, good round. P Ling closes it out. Yeah, I think P Ling, P -Ling caught a fuzzy duck there. It will catch him on the mid. They really delayed their option for the mid. Ooh, oh, good parry, man. Good parry. No follow up, though. You can imagine you, you do the right thing defensively, you go to take your turn, and then there's just a parry. Ah, oh, it's so messed up, man. Oh, they went for the Speaking spring kick. Up. You know, I think spring kick might be the play because you're in the air, so you're lessening some of the damage that you take. And as you saw, it quickly was able to get back up to his feet. That might be the play. Just to at least lessen some of the damage. <laughs> to make nice. it not as Oh! Ooh, head frame. Out you might low think, but parry. a low parry comes out pretty quick too. P Lane goes right into the rage arc. Oh. And it misses! The jackhammer oh, and to no. the stump. Wow. A 1-0 Joe Crush off of a clean robbery. Wow. Because after I rage art, so much could happen for P-Lane, but Jesus Christ. Yeah, that missed. It just missed. I can't be the only person that heard the Curb Your Enthusiasm music right after that rage art <laughs> Just like, uh-oh. Yeah, honestly. Disgusted. <laughs> Disgusted is all I can say. Good block. Oh, Texas Pro. Very well placed. But you know, I call it fair. For all this unblockable damage Joe Crush is taking, he, he, he deserves a, a win with Rage Heart. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Bum, bum, bum. Solid damage at the wall. Nice. Can we get a pickup? Tumble roll under that. Get flipped back on the wall. A duck on the back too. Wait, no, not even a dark heart. Phoenix, my bad. You you let Peeling play. Big mistake. You you let Peeling play the game. Fight. Jesus. All right, Phoenix, man. It, it happens. No pickup. That's so unfortunate. Ooh. I feel like both these players are like in tune with each other, both sides stepping at the same time. Yeah, it's a it's a good way to relane yourself with um some counterplay strategies. So I think that's what's trying to happen here. But what dog? Oh. Nimble Jack Eight play I've seen. <laughs> <laughs> that sides that look very agile. Good to it on that man. <laughs> First and that's just formality. Got around. No, I just imagine Jack in the uh you know you know what Lily wears? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Oh my god, that'd be so funny. I'd love that. I need that model swap for that. I need to see that. <laughs> oh, well, what? Okay, there's an opening. Thing. Scoop off the ground, conversion, and again. Hey, man. That, that whipped rage arm. <laughs> oh my god, and peeling. And slowly but surely, bringing it back. Oh, oh, that better oh launch from Joe Crush. Back on the offense. It don't stop. It don't stop. Then we got Waller not in 50% off the table. Oh. <laughs> okay, to be fair, that was just a good one. Yeah, perfectly timed for healing. Nice. Keeps the pressure going. Nice stuff from Peeling. Finishing out with the string. One and one. Peeling can just be a force of nature sometimes. When they when they when they decide they want the round.
They played like they looked so confident jumping in and rolling under that attack from from Joe Crush. Like they knew that was landing. When you see players make reads, go for options like that, they're looking to take the whole thing. Yeah. Um, when your players are just making reads like that, <laughs> they are they're allowed to clean. Um, we've also been seeing some amazing sidestep plays from both these sides, um, either to realign themselves with the opponent, being all like, where do you think you're going? I'm here, I'm in front of you, you have to deal with me, I'm the threat. Or to uh, call out some of these linear attacks that aren't necessarily like flow chart, right? They aren't flow chart these attacks, they're making the reads, like we're saying. And they're just so clean, they're too clean. That's impressive stuff. Who wants it more? Launcher. One game of peace in the grand finals reset. Joe Crush off to the races to start things off. Playing them on the wall. Do some damage. Yeah. He tries to offer some offense. We're going to get interrupted by some of those wings tracking moves. Back up. Ling almost faded out an option there. Gets the lift some serious damage. Ready for the wall, ready for the follow-up, ready to take round number one. Joe Crush is looking pretty solid right now. Caught them spinning around on the floor. Again, probably try to go for some tech roll to avoid some type of uh, med cell, but unfortunately they caught. Nice, Dr. Lazar, Phoenix. He is engaged. Oh, oh, oh Joe Crush is like, I, I got wall shenanigans too. It doesn't quite work out, but I love that you tried it. Yeah, well, like, I, I'm gonna go for it, Peeling. He was like, well, our Phoenix. <laughs> oh, this evasion. Fight. I mean, uh, the, to take this set off of Peeling, you gotta do, you gotta use everything at your disposal. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Really good on the air. Big pickup. We're gonna see a lot of wall carry. And we get the break. Are we going downstairs? Not quite up, yet. Up oh. for a reset, I believe. Definitely the play here. You don't want to really kind of break the wall off of a, a small damage combo, essentially. Waiting for the right moment. I like it. Throw break. Nice. Catches him on the low. Stacking in the shins. Really going for the shins, my lord. Ain't Ooh. stopping. Going for the round two. Joe Crush wants to go up 2-1 here. Clean throw break. Peeling. Ready for that. Ready for the option, but a low parry. Party time. Oh my god. Yeah, this is going to deal a good bad damage. But of course, the scaling of low power is going to affect it a massive chunk. Oh, nice. You oh, gotta nice. Watch these lows. Joe Crush is part Asuka right now. Oh. Oh. The okay. mid mix. Unlockable. No, what? That killed? That's so messed up. What? That's so messed up. I need answers. It's just guaranteed against Jack. You know, to be fair, I was just thinking about that. Uh, Link can do that at King, I think, because I've been caught trying to get up against that. <laughs> I was, I, no, I'm thinking about that. Maybe my character has problems too. But what? <laughs> I thought maybe a Rage Arch would get the full extension. I did not think that was going to do that much damage. That's unreal. Either way, oh, final I... round here. Who wants to go ahead game? Joe Crush. Ooh. Match up or not, they're doing some damage right now. I needs one more poke for the win. And just like that, Joe Crush is up 2-1. Tournament point for the big man himself. Peeling. There has to be a part of peeling right now that's like, not like this. <laughs> Not again. Get me out of here. Made it through grand finals reset. Ooh, this okay. is kind of how it went last week. Joe Crush could look to close it out right here. If you're Not peeling, the brains you got to dig deep. What's crazy is P Ling is not playing poorly by any means. I, I wouldn't even know what to say. Like, oh, well, if you just do this differently. You're just seeing two really strong players operating at peak efficiency, and Joe Crush is just in the lead right now. Yeah, no, you're you're absolutely battle. right. Both these players are playing some top class tech and definitely some high level tech, and so fun to watch. Probably fun to play, right? These two players' brains must be at like 100 miles per hour, right? And um, you know, this is what we love. This is what we love.
And of course, you know, uh, there's that rivalry with states and all that, which I'm not educated enough to be um, mentioning on. Damn, block, God damn, I'm blockable. So good. Ooh. Great start here for Keeling. Good amount of free <gasps> he health. He committed to the high. Back into it. Oh no. He committed to the high. That's mental. So off of that strength, he has a high guard crush strength, where if it hits, it turns the opponent around for a guaranteed follow up. But the thing is, since it's his only follow up, everybody ducks. Wow. I don't think I've ever even seen that interaction before, so. Joe exactly. Who's struggling this? Okay, Key Lane, getting a chance at it. Oh. The Rage Arc um, wasn't placed well enough. It was. My railgun. We finally see it. Target acquired. Wee! <laughs> Oh my god. Then why does he have a real gun? Though? Just in case. Just in case. Oh my god. Nice. Round number one picked up. Joe Fresh two rounds away from closing out the tournament and securing the bridesmaid special again for P Ling. He needs P Ling's it. gonna have to dig deep. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, big little pokes. And went for the third extension. If you don't know, the third extension is minus 14, so it is punishable. But, um, you know, of course, you're um, setting up a free head string. Nice. Massive combo here. Takes it to the wall, and of course, gonna be able to go for the unblockable. But no, wants it mix up with the sweep. Went for the, the stance instead. Can't argue with the results. Round two goes healing. Ooh, the patient is here. Poking ahead. Good check nice. there. Yeah, really good check there for all of these players. It's so on point on where they should challenge. But of course, it's a little tougher for Joe because that art Phoenix, my lord. One of the first times we've really seen that sidestep, but it doesn't add a ton of damage. He first comes from Joe Crush. We're gonna slow things down. Peeling signs are respected. This is some of the slowest Tekken 8 we've seen these players play all night. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. So far, I've been watching some really high-paced matches, but here we go. Oh, it's kicking up in the speed, though. Nice. It just runs Run up, up with the low. Joe Crush the knocking on the door of a 3-1 victory in Grand Finals. Can they close it out right here? We're about to find out. Commit to the fart hat, the string yet again. And they're just going on the offense. Good tech on the throw. Peeling wants to get back into it. The unlockable. Oh, my. Oh, the head taxes him. Why not? Your tournament life is on the line. Heat burst comes out. P Ling with the advantage potential for the moment, but Heat burst comes out and lands. So Tins put the corner pressure. Ooh. P Ling, you got to guess right. There you go. 3 1 victory. Joe Crush. Paragon is your number eight champion. The Paragon line, the Ocho. <laughs> <laughs> I just like that. Something to mention. Healing, the braid's made forever. Never, never the braid, always the mid. That's such a shame. Um, they made a clean reset on the bracket, but Joe Crush able to solidify his pace, able to solidify the win, and just mostly played a bit more cautious into offense, and it really worked out for them. And you can see it with the result itself. One incredible set.